Welcome back to Midcap Radar. Well, one particular set of stocks that are doing very well is the entire cement pack. Nigel is here, and this is our special segment, Midcap Spotlight. Nigel will focus on the cement sector today and what is driving stocks higher today. Well, that's right. You know, Jefferies has come out with a note and they're making various positives on three parameters. One is on pricing, then it's on demand, and then it's on input cost. Let's start off with the first uh, point. They're saying that prices in the month of November they were flattish on a month-on-month -month basis, which is not such a bad outcome because, remember, pricing has been very, very weak. They make this point that the average pricing in quarter three so far is up by close to around a percent and a half to around 2% in comparison to the previous quarter. They also say that as of now, the price hikes actually have been lacking what they are estimating, but we'll have to see price increases from year on to meet their estimates on the pricing front. The good news, though, is that dealer interaction suggests that pricing has bottomed out and they're not ruling out a 10 to around 15 rupee price hike in the month of December itself, which will be very, very interesting given that in various parts of the country, there will be winters that will play out. Point number two, on cement demand, they are penciling 8 to around 10% year-on-year growth in the second half of the year, which compares with more or less a flattish number in the first half of the year. So those that are expecting a recovery in the second half that will be backed by government spending, they're saying that as of October as well as November, well, they are behind the line in terms of uh, behind the run rate that is required to achieve this 8 to around 10%. And point number three, in terms of cost trends, they're saying pet coke prices, well, in November, they moved up a little bit on a month-on-month -month basis. But they remain below $100 per tonne, which is the average that we saw until September. And for quarter three, if you compare it with the previous quarter as well as the previous year, well, the average pricing is much, much lower. So on the input side as well, there is some relief. The valuations come up for you on the screen. The large cap names first up, Altitech, Shree, as JK, as well as Ramco. All of them up for you on the screen. While the mid cap names as well, a mid to relatively large cap like Dalmia, Nuvoco, uh, Heidelberg, uh, Bidla, they trade at sub-replacement cost. So Jefferies is giving a bit of an optimistic sign for the cement industry. But we had with us uh, Mr. Anil Singhvi of Shree Digvijay Cement he wasn't so optimistic. He said that demand on ground is still weak. He needs to see measures with regard to the government of India as well as private capex that will pick up to see a good amount of boost. And he's factoring in only around a 3 to 4% cement demand growth on an average for the year. So he didn't sound very, very optimistic. So for the time being, the street believes that maybe things will get better from year on, which explains why the stocks are doing well. Back to you. Right, that explains the move that we are seeing in the space today. Thank you so much for joining us today, Nigel, and explaining all of that to us. So that's one space that is doing well. The other... Uh... Well, thanks so much for tuning in to CNBC TV 18. Make sure you follow us and stay updated on all our social media platforms.